It is a worry, Minister, though, isn't it? So I'm sure you would agree that with the levels of sanctioning that we are seeing, hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. who can have their benefits stopped for a minimum of four weeks, and then approximately a quarter from the initial uh, research that I've seen are just disappearing, they're leaving, and we don't know if they're getting into work. That's an absolute indictment on this government's uh, policy. And it's a little bit worrying if we're trying to tout it uh, internationally as a real success story. Well, can I just say I don't agree with any of that. Uh, it's not a surprise to you. Uh, I actually believe the sanctions regime, as applied, uh, is fair. Uh, you'll always get the odd case. and uh, die well, after let, let, let me finish. Minister. No, I don't agree with that. I think the reality is that the sanctions regime, as part of this system, we give a huge amount of help and support to uh, all of those who are in the job centres. Job centre staff do not set out to sanction somebody uh, just off the top of their head. They have to have pretty strong evidence and a belief that that individual is not cooperating for various reasons. Uh, if they uh, believe that the reasons are that they shouldn't be on JSA, that they should actually be applying for employment support allowance, they give them support and help to do that. But at the same time, this is a... A contract really with taxpayers that we pay people benefits to help them but there's also an expectation where job seekers and has been for a while and through the last Labour government that they have a responsibility to seek work to take work where it's available and I just come back to you, I come back in conclusion flows, in my response to you Ms Abrams uh, that the reality is and I said the monthly average is 66,000 people out of a caseload of 1.2 7 million people going through the system. Well, I do not think I do not yours. think that is excessive and I think your position on this is short of almost being ludicrous that you think that the whole idea of sanctions is wrong and it shouldn't exist and I have to tell you I believe that if we did not have conditionality there to help people focus on what they're doing we would not have got the kind of numbers of people we have re-entering the workforce 